Hey everyone, Metal Levite Alex here, back with part two of Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. Last part, well, for recap, we, um, you know, I learned that the game picks up story and faction-wise from 4 and 5, Sh Shattered Skies and Unsung War, and as a fan of the series, that makes me happy. And, um, yeah, we got a... A lot has changed in this, in the world of, in the Ace world since then. We've got a space elevator built on the continents of Usia, and uh, an old enemy from the fourth game is rearing its its head up again. And uh, Arusia, and we're playing once again as the faction from the fifth game, Osia. <laughs> and uh, we're following around, and the game's also following around this girl who built an airplane from spare parts and got shut down got shot down because she was flying when she shouldn't have whether or not she knew it i don't know and um yeah and a uh, couple of um corrections earlier i i said that osia was located in usia in usian the continent uh, the, uh, the Usia continent. I got that wrong. It's actually... Usia is, 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 is like... Basically Europe and... Asia. Whereas Osia... And it's... Bit is like other countries. Well, it's kind of a mix and match, honestly. Because there's some countries that are based on others. Like, for example, Belka from Ace Combat Zero. Which was basically Germany. And that's like practically a neighbor to Osia in it in the continent it they both have and so yeah it's it's a mix and mash and considering I haven't played these games for a while it was bound to happen that I would get some details wrong and um either way and uh, also we're following this girl character around and I um this is kind of a recurring trend in a lot of the ace combat games where some the games will either follow around characters involved directly or indirectly with the central conflict of the game's story so she's likely going to be tied in somewhere it just doesn't seem as immediate compared to the other ones which got more or less to the point at least to me anyway so we'll see how her story goes fits in with all this and um so far, I've noticed a few things. Well, one th for one, the, the dogfight combat uh, mode from Assault Horizon apparently is not in the game. I'm not too broken up about it, but I would have liked to have seen it come back in at least some way. But... Two, uh, but... But there's far more good news the game plays very much like the old games if anything probably feels as great as it's ever been and oh my god the graphics in this game are just Mwah. i i cannot praise project aces the, the the developers highly enough they really really put their a game as far as the sound and visuals are concerned and i'm i'm finding more stuff here and there to, to praise and, um, so yeah, we gotta go save this space elevator that Osia created on the opposite continent. I have a feeling, cons and it seems to be the MacGuffin, or at least one of several in in the story, because being a sci-fi-ish fighter plane game, like the last games and the Lethal Sky games, which I'm familiar with as well, there's gonna be i have a feeling there's gonna be quite the super weapons amount in this game to tear up and shoot down so yeah let's get to mission three two-prong strategy The surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk 
and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting-edge aircraft carrier, Kestrel-2, was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. Kestrel-2 is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Barbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Mm. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new, advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone. MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive arsenal birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. Yeah, the, the aerial... Uh, bird. It's basically a weaponized version of the White Bird spacecraft from Five. And uh, I also forgot to mention one thing: every other Ace Combat game that I've played has had at least something that that partially differentiates them. Four was more or less your run of the mill, very good. But then, but other than the levels, wasn't really too crazy in terms of gameplay. Five, uh, you know did a bit more when it came to well this is standard with a lot of them now but you know it emphasized like you know controlling your wingmen six uh no wait no before six uh zero zero played around with and I, uh, with what i can only use say uh with um how should i put this pretty much used its own version of the morality system where you had to like where the game would take different paths in the story depending on how you operated like if you caused too much collateral damage or if you killed retreating pilots you know you'd face certain characters in their and their respective aircraft and it was very interesting and then you had six which allows you to play sky commander over entire armies and aid certain you know tank battalions or or air squadrons in order to achieve certain direct directives. Assault Horizon had the dogfight mode, and now we have this, which, well, it's too early to say what uh, trick this game's gonna rely on for its own identity. So far, it seems to be going the RPG route of, you know, unlocking, you know, different parts for, for how air craft performs, you know, different engine types and s stuff like that, so it's pretty new. I could have sworn that the free-to-play Infinite game did something to that extent, so we'll see how it works here. It's still early, so I'm learning as I go. It's both, it's both familiar and new all at the same time. Okay, can I unlock anything? 9970 I could go for the for the for the for the classic F14 which sadly these days is um uh sadly these days the F14 has long since been decommissioned from the navy which is sad okay I'm tempted to go with the 14. I don't like the MiG. I would like to get to the to the Sukhois down there, so I may have to buy it at some point. But I also like what we have around here too. 
I'm gonna go with the uh, with the 14. Yeah, 14 D Super Tomcat. Maverick, eat your heart out. Hmm. And I'll unlock the eight air to air missiles. maneuverability hmm, increases defense huh yeah this is really in depth hmm. ah the a10 warthog most people call it the thunderbird the th Thunderbolt, I refer to the Warthog. Okay, it's uh, gonna be an air superiority. F-14D, large carrier based fire that can carry long range anti-air missiles. It's automatic variable wings allow for superior combat at all speeds and altitudes. Its official nickname, Super Tomcat, is derived from the A model. Yeah, the Super Tomcat is, like, the version that tends to be used in pretty much every jet fighter game that I've ever played. Lethal Skies, the Ace games, it's, like, the standard one, for whatever reason. I can either go with Long Range or go with the 8. Extremely long range air to air missiles. I can still pick one off. I'm gonna try the long range, see how that works. Works out. Select parts. Okay. Squadron aircraft preparations complete. Operation Dual Wielder. music to my ears. Beach 2, specified altitude reached. Restrictions lifted. Good luck. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other base of squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive right in the middle of the action. Mage Squadron, eliminate all bandits in the current airspace. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. Good luck. Mage One, we'll go. Oh, time Mage limit. One, Forgot one. about Thank those. Lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Trigger time to show the other guys that we can wet wild and do dirty, dirty things. <laughs> Once you hit one of them, stick to him like blue. Don't let him out of your sights, even in the clouds. And so, your first hunting season begins. Mage 2, banded down. Excellent work. Don't let those 
That was a good one. Riddle them. If you can't evade a missile, use chaff and flares. Your fingers should still move even if you're in an IG turn. Wow, look at that river. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. I haven't even broken a sweat. Seems to be crazy to pick a fight with us. A rabbit dog would know better. Missile incoming. Get ready. Uh oh. What the hell? Caution. Missile. Caution. A large aircraft is approaching. All aircraft, stay alert. Ugh. <sighs> That is big. A drone army. We just learned that Erusia is utilizing the arsenal bird. Those bastards. They had that thing combat ready this whole time. Enemy has a radar lock. I probably should have gone with the multi missiles. We're just waiting for mission command. We'll live through this trigger. These guys are definitely a step above the last drones. Damn, they're agile. There's too many of them. These guys will come down easy. That is fast. No change in game plan. Destroy the arsenal bird. Uh oh, I've been hit. Gold Squadron, take out Big Baby Huey. Should have gone with the multi missiles. Take out the controller. Uh, what the hell? 
caution. All aircraft, stay alert. Get out of there! Breaking! Give me! What? Is that a shield? Two lost. We got incoming. Skeleton squadron is down. We've had too many losses. It's got energy shields. All squadrons, command has ordered a complete withdrawal. Leave the operation area immediately. Brilliant observation. They noticed earlier, more of us would have survived to hear it. Save your chatter for the debriefing. Gollum and Mage Squadron, give our allies some time to escape. We'll go, but Gollum 2 is hit. Gotta send her back. Let's get dirty, Trigger. Mission updated. Shoot down those UAVs. Don't let them touch any friendlies. Gollum 2, head back to base. Gargoyle 1, escort Gollum 2. Continuing well, the mission. Still got my wings. Trigger doesn't need to fill in for me. I'm back and I... You won't make any difference up here. Get back to base and cool your head. Copy that. Returning home. Well, we're gonna be destroying that thing sometime down the line. Next time, I'm gonna equip multi missiles. Target is in range of guns. Retreating aircraft. Leave the AO. Allies will hold off pursuit. Column squadron, mage squadron, hang in there and come back safe. Mage two, UAV down. Squadron, you're going toe to toe with the UAVs. Good work. Got one in my sights. Take away. More UAVs spotted. Gargoyle Squadron, they might cut off your retreat. Page two, walking. My status is fine. Prepare for combat. It's a bogey. Gargoyle 1, Gollum 2, engage now. Attack. One bandit. Gargoyle 1, caution! Missile! It's fast. It's Skykeeper. Gargoyle 1 lost. What the hell? Gollum 2, status report. Uh-oh. Just talk to me. Shake it off. It's matching me move for move. Golem 2, stop dogfighting and run. Oh, there's the moon right there. Get your asses out. In their golems. A few seconds could be life or death for them. Hurry up. I know. All we can do is fly away as fast as we can. I'm still shot them. Bring them on. Dodged it. It's got a lock on me. Mage 2, move to support. Other aircraft are in trouble. Ah, I thought he'd hit it. He'd run right into it. Dodged. Going for the loner. Hell of a good job, Mage 2. We want his 
many guys out here as possible. I'm grateful you're around. Philip 2, what's your status? Status report! He's a predator! What? Column 2, get a hold of yourself! Column 2, get away from the enemy! Mage 2, support! Somebody! Support! Okay, Brownie's been hit. Uh oh. Column 2, lost. Shit. Skykeeper, where's the one that got Brownie? I'm afraid he's long gone by now. Sorry. All UAVs have been splashed. I said what I had to say. About what? Not a girl who'd retreat. Just not in her DNA. That was the right decision at the time. No, I should have never let a fledgling like her out of my reach to begin with. Golem Squadron, Main Squadron, withdraw. Hmm. So we got an enemy ace prowling out there somewhere. And this thing to worry about. Giant drone carrying drones. Beach 2, we have you on radar. You are cleared for approach. Oh crap, we gotta land. Deck is clear. Beach 2, you are cleared for landing. Can I not screw it up? It's been a while since I've done this. Lower your speed. Your approach looks good. Stay on course. 1500 to carrier. Ah, oh, made it. Perfect, Mage 2. I knew you'd be back. Now return to base. Personally, a sloppy landing, in my opinion, but. Eh. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other base's squadrons already... Well, if there's another trait that all the other Ace Combat games have had, it's that there's all... that is that there's a... an Ace on the opposite side that we... that serves as our main antagonist. Unfortunately, the two-front offensive was a failure. Ugh. The aircraft carrier Kestrel 2 was sunk during the attack on Farbanti. What? Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. Our own Ugh. forces also suffered heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. We have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space elevator. What did the, the what did the fat base commander from us from Ace Combat Five get promoted? What the hell? Everything's gone wrong. Yeah, the Kestrel Two. That was supposed to be the successor for the first Kestrel. Nah, it's gone. <laughs> well, we'll be taking down the Arsenal gear thing at some point in the future. In the future of the game and whoever it is that's the ace for the opposite side yeah four had yellow squadron five had uh had the belkin aces sit zero had a whole bunch of them six had uh that other that one guy I, that one guy i can't remember his name Estovakia. Yeah, I can't remember the name of, his, of the, the name of who of the name of the guy who was the ace and six, but he was on that side. Then there was that Russian pilot uh, who was in Assault Horizon, who who flew, who was called the Shark. And now we have this. Whoever he is. 
he comes. Oh, and trophy for beating this game. That must be him. Uh, it is a Sukhoi, but she said. Yeah, he's looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. Their sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. Yeah, he's old. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Yeah, he took one of my squad's mates with him. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. Mm. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many G's he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. How penal is this penal unit, you ask? This place is a shithole. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing a stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. So a communist. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for a Rouge's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards room. It was the Erujian princess rallying her people on the Erujian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans too. Huh. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arugia, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. Uh, yeah. Your only mistake was trying... Well, yeah, you flew when... When, by complete coincidence, you didn't know and you got brought down. But then you tried to escape and made it worse for yourself. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal Birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will be difficult to overcome. However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circum-Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mm-hmm. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erujian forces. However, a 
According to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We will send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. Let me guess, it's gonna be me. A number me. of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. So After this is going to be a through, sneaking one. Secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. Okay, so ground target. So it's a ground op again. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a sneak uh flight. Pretty uh, plenty of those in previous games. Sneak through the radar grid in order to get to the to the objective. Yeah, Harding's gotten a few gray hairs since the fifth game. What do I want to get this time? 86. 285 for the F-18. I kind of want to get to the... to the SUs. So... As well as what's over here, so I'm going to probably that oh, was this. Oh, it's a special plane, purple barrage typhoon. Ah, purple is for multi-roll, right? I think that's what it is. And red is for ground. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Blue for for air superiority, red for uh for ground, and purple for multi-roll. Hmm, huh, that's cool. I personally don't like it, nor do I really want to use it, but I am gonna I'm going to um Unlock the MiG 2029 so that way I can get access to the Sukhoi aircraft. Yeah, personally, not a fan of it. I think it's ugly, but that's just me. SU-33. Okay, it's gonna be a long time till I can get anything new, because I used up all my credits. It says it's primarily ground combat, so I'm probably gonna go for something else. Air to air, air to ground. I'll probably do the Phantom. Unguided bomb, long range air to ground, short range aerial suppression air to air missile. Oh, let me read. Medium sized fire developed as a replacement for contemporary lead planes such as the MiG 21. Its excellent handling makes it a superior fire, and it was pitched 
and it was predicted to be pitted against the F-15. Its nickname is Lashtochka, the Russian word for the swift flying swallow. <laughs> Which is funny because Russia do is, does not exist in this world and neither does America. They're just, um, they're just saying that in terms of real world reference so that way you, you know what it is and where it's world in its background, which I'm fine with, you know, fictional world, but still using the real world stuff to let you know, okay, this is where it's modeled from. And yeah, it is, it, you can, yeah, it is basically the Russian version of the F-15. Similar body shape. I'm gonna go with the, the F-4. Hmm. Laser guided. Select parts. Rescue President Harling. Former president. Yeah, I did not think they'd ever they'd reference somebody Ace Combat 4 and 5 stuff. Like, when does that happen? Entering operation area. Imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Hey. Nice weather effect. I can't praise this game visually enough. So yeah, it's ice formation in the clouds. Yeah, weather effects. This is new. Like, at least not that I've ever seen in any of the other games extra level of dimension and a, you know a common criticism I, 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 I always hear from a lot of airplane games like these is that for as good as the graphics will always look they'll always complain about oh the, 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 the ground doesn't look good enough well no duh stupid it's not meant to be on the ground of course it's going to look less less good compared to how it will up above because that's where it's supposed to be because that's where the style of game excels but i do appreciate putting it them putting in as much effort as i can i mean just look at the tree line it's probably the best it's ever looked and i and i can certainly appreciate that i mean I like my personal favorite levels are the ones that have all cities spraying to the horizon and they're all lit up. There's the elevator. Halo 2. G Gundam 00, anyone? Trigger, you're a third of the way to the rendezvous point. Good job, but stay focused. Airport, right over there. No problem. Situation normal. No change. RTV going home.
about halfway there almost. No, more like a third of the way there actually. Kind of reminds me of Cape Canaveral. You know, the airport and spaceship area near the sea. I need to go back to Cape Canaveral. I went fishing like across from there on one of my birthdays. Look at that. All Trey, that you water. Got two directions you can take up here. Just go with your gut. Don't worry. We're watching over you. Are we under attack? No change. Like either take a shortcut right or take the long way forward. Try the shortcut. Yeah, they've uh, they've never done it like this. Oh, well, you could do. Yeah, you. I think you could. Yeah, I think you could do alternate pathways through the sneaking bits, but. Then again, I think they were mostly the linear. Don't go into the red. Harling is still the president of my eyes. He ended the war, built the space elevator, and launched a spaceship from it. Despite his success, he remained a humble hero. Yeah, and it, is he ever going to bring back Rosdys? I would like President Harling to. to to, to pull a Nick Fury and call Razgris back. Rendezvous point dead ahead. Hang in there. Mate, the player character Blaze of that game, Ace Combat 5, and my favorite wing man, or rather wing woman, K Nagase, who's, who is more or less like a, I guess you could say kind of sort of an unofficial mascot for the games because her name's been used for several characters. Of course, the one mostly known is from Ace Combat 5. Mage 2's in the clouds. We're on high alert. Send up interceptors on the double. We're watching. It's probably just a bug. Hmm. Well, you want to fly into that building. Yeah, look at this. I like these city levels. I mean, look, look at the roads. Like, you can't, you can't fully detail all that with this kind of game. You can only do so much. But this is glorious. I mean, I, lo I love this. Imagine it at night. <laughs> That's when it's really good.
Trigger. crash into Sorry the train. Cavalry's here. Nicole. Column squadron. Trigger jump through the fire. Nicole. Now it's our turn. Understood. Cargoil squadron, stay focused. You all know your job. All aircraft, eliminate the enemy before they can respond. Half of the anti-air guns down. Sea Goblin will arrive shortly. Nicole. Eliminate hostile anti-air before then. Bye. Didn't get out of the way in time. Sites are down. This is Sea Goblin. We've arrived. Do we have a clear LZ? Mission still in progress. Stand by. You're almost out of special weaponry. Mage 2. Rescue team can't land until anti-air weapons are down. Destroy them. Sam's. That's what it is. I hate Sam's. Sam sites down. There are still AA guns. Destroy them and secure the LZ. Target down. Nicely done. Sam's. The most annoying anti-air thing. All anti-air guns destroyed. In any air game. The landing zone is secure. Sea Goblin, you are clear to land. Roger. Over Selatapura Harbor. Their container launched UAVs. What? The music is getting good. Rescue craft tag on. Initiate. Chinook helicopter landed. Rescue craft on the ground is defenseless. Gollum and Mage, destroy all hostiles. It's been a long journey, but you're on the home stretch. Gargoyle will stand by near the space elevator. Get rid of these container boxes. That seems to be the theme of this game so far. Man versus machine. Didn't freaking stealth that one game uh, movie, which was horrible. Play around with that. UAVs approaching the space elevator. Stop them. Return fire! Sounds like they're Goblin, having quite the fun down Is there. Mr. Harling alive? They got the chopper and Sierra too! That was their old Baron! UAVs moving away from the harbor toward the space elevator. Shut them down. You might need the ready. We can't take all of them.
<laughs> oh yeah, Mother Goose One. That was the name of his of his transport plane in Five. The references. Mother Goose. Yeah, that was the name of his of his transport and freaking five. I'm over. I'm getting overwhelmed by the references. I love it. It's like it's like they. Mother Goose One, UAV on your tail. Take evasive action. It's like they knew. Yeah. It's like they went out of their way to reward the old fans. While at the same time catering for new ones, but in the best way possible. Military bureaucracy. Same thing that cost Pearl Harbor. President Harling gonna how, gonna fly the the helicopter like he did the. Mother Goose One is turning. Uh, What's going on? They're heading to the space elevator. What? 
Colonel's flying at a steady altitude. Who's in control? It's not the Colonel. Mr. Harling's the only one on board. Mother Goose One, respond! Mr. Harling, please respond! We can't protect our objective if it sticks around here. Now's not the time to freak out, fellas. We've still got a job to do, so let's do it. Keep your mind focused. Mr. Harling, we are not giving up on you. The UAVs are approaching Mother Goose One. Let's go, Trigger. Take him down now, Mage Squadron. One minute remaining. One minute? Come on. Rock acquired. Mother Goose One, turn 180 degrees and exit combat airspace. Mage Two, Mage Two. Oh my god, Mother Goose One has been shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Mage Two fired that. It was OG. A friendly missile hit him. Verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose One exploded in air. No one could have survived. God Looks like damn it. Arusian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mage One. Was it Trigger? <sighs> Trigger was the closest. I didn't do it. Crawling all over our objective. I told you to keep a goddamn eye on the hatchling. It must have been a mistake. Arsenal Bird is entering. All aircraft withdraw immediately. I didn't hit him. He head back to the to the elevator. You can't fly for a while. You understand. The bird blew up. I didn't do it. Well, this sucks. Main character, major character from the fifth game went and got blown up. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Ugh. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. That seems to be the Trigger, theme so you far. You are suspected of assassinating a former president. There will be an inquiry. I just there got a lot of trophies. There will probably be a court martial. Ugh. I just got a bunch of trophies. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, that seems to be the running theme for, for Osea this time. Failure. Ugh. Who's running the, the military this time? Like, this is, uh, this is, um... Rank B. Yeah, this is, uh, not what I signed up for. Ah, oh, got, a uh, Five skins for the Mirage 2000. Well, this is, uh... This is sad. Ah, uh, they they pulled the Pacific Rim uprising and killed President Harling. Oh my God! Just when I was so happy to see him, Ugh. so much for calling uh, Rosgrees. Well, let's see what the next mission is. Just to just to clear. Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, it must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. Day after day after day after day, they bombed us. Osea didn't give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. Nice. In their eyes, we were expendable. Worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical lowlifes. They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Yeah, Wonder me. Wonder what he did to get sent here. My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. 
When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job, and one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. Of all the ways to get killed, that's gotta be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? There's a rumor going around about another inmate. A guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this, talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling. The president of Osea during the last war, remember? He's the one that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason I had to go live with my grandpa. And why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Oh, fuck you. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It reeks. Eh. Uh, four. Four, four, four. All right, guys, I'll let you in on some juicy info. The new guy was found guilty by the International Union Peacekeeping Forces Court Martial. He is the murderer of Harling in the flesh. I didn't do it. His tack name's Trigger. Now, as of today, he may be attached to the Ocean Air Force Base 444th Squadron. But that is just some symbolic bullshit. It doesn't really matter if he's Harling's murderer or not. Every last one of you has been incarcerated for one reason or another. You cons have an obligation to atone for your crimes. A few of you in the penal unit know how to fly, and HQ needs to plug the deficit in our Air Force. So they proposed sending you guys on a reconnaissance mission to the Waipolo Mountains. But that idea was flat out rejected. Nope. You'll be atoning for your crimes right here at this base. This base is a decoy designed to draw enemy fire. And as members of this base, you'll be taking hits from the enemy. This will allow our forces to safely prepare a counterattack. Incoming! Switch off that alarm. It's just the usual. I thought Zapland was supposed to be an isolated area. Okay. I'm gonna need a few aircraft to scramble. Solitary. No Enemy aircraft down. detected over the dummy runway. We just need to make it look like we can put up a fight. Some of those piles of junk can at least take off. Let's get the guiltiest cons in the sky first. We'll start with Harling's murderer. Eesh. We don't expect you to down any bombers. But what we do want is to make them think that we've got an active base here. So apparently, uh, my character Trigger accidentally, or did he not, kill the former president, and now we're here with the low, with the, with the, with the miscreants. So that's new, uh, that's, that's interesting. You know, before it was always, you know, a usual military member from one corner of the world or another, whereas in this case, they kind of pull a switcheroo by having your main character be disgraced, and pretty much serving in the air aircraft version of bad company remember that game battlefield bad company you you had that you know that battalion of soldiers who were basically you know the ones that were all the miscreants and the and the bad boys the ones who were you know the ones who 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 were you know the renegades of the bunch well that's basically what this this is this is we're in we're in air force bad company more or less. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, um, I think that should do it for, for now. 
I'm I'm very surprised at where the story of the game has taken us. It just took a huge, sharp turn into ter into where I did not expect, and and now I see where where the characters start to interact with all of us with, with the. I, I I need to look up the name of that character because I don't know who she is and she hasn't given me a name. And I don't I don't just want to call her a girl throughout the whole game. And uh Yeah I I can't praise the visuals enough and the gameplay is first rate still, even after all these years. So that'll do it for these two parts of Ace Combat 7. I look forward to see where the rest of the game goes from here and uh, see how the plot goes and if it stands up with the other ones and see how many more airplanes I can unlock. <laughs> Ugh, they're going to be super expensive to do though and I honestly I highly highly doubt I'll be able to unlock even half of them by the end of the playthrough. But uh, we'll see where it happens. I at least I at least want to get get the Hornet a 15 maybe and one of those and one of the flanker the Sukhoi flankers whichever one so we'll see how it goes and I'll be back with the next parts tomorrow and also yeah the soundtrack the soundtrack is still friggin awesome <laughs> uh, in this in the in this series so good night see y'all tomorrow with more AC7 like, share, subscribe, and comment if you liked it.